Here I set up a regular condensed vision space rendition of a scene, with implicit spatial texture increasing from fixation on a radial basis. The flat surface of the water articulating a linear, incremental falloff from the fixation point. The painting is set out referring to these photographs taken from the scene and capturing the extent of what can be seen on an experiential basis without the underlying perceptual structure. A boat was recorded on a separate occasion and planted into the scene to act as the fixation. Note the scale changes between what the camera captures and what appears in the phenomenal field of vision. I've set the painting entering binocular stereo information from left and right hand eye views in two stereo alternation crescents, as explained in previous vision space presentations. This is why there are some discontinuities in the skyline. So the proximity cues provided by the spatial texture of vision build as before. In this respect, the spatial medium is set out from fixation, extending outwards from this locus to incorporate the observer. However, the primary reason for undertaking the painting was actually to show how mist occupies space. I observed the mist in the harbour on a separate occasion. Here the proximity cues provided by mist are body-centred, observer-centred. Please excuse the zone-by-zone -zone application of my Photoshop mist simulation. However, both the spatial texture and the mist actually provide us with subjective spatial awareness. Space is a medium and mist is a medium in space, with micro and macro derivations respectively, reinforcing one another on perceptual terms. They are both manifestations of mediums. In this respect, the mist resonates with the texture field underlying perceptual structure. In all of this, I've made no account for the varying density to the mist, so I still much prefer this guy's work.